Hello again. Today I'm going to talk about some tools that should help with the development and debugging process. I'm also going to show you how to add configurations to your mod so that your users can tweak the settings to their liking. To start, we're going to do the same as last time where I show you the completed code and explain how to get there. I will put the example on GitHub for your reference. The first thing you'll notice is that I've changed the color scheme and moved off the VM. If you want this theme, it is One Dark Pro, and I'll also link to that. Anyway, I'm going to go over three tools today, and we are going to be making another really basic mod that changes how strongly the wind affects boats. During my time making this video, I actually found a more complete mod for ship manipulation and even integrated a couple changes that I felt like the other author did better than myself. But I wanted to keep my version simple and easy to follow. I will link the full version from the other author below, as well as a couple other authors' works that I've been impressed by. Moving on, the three tools that I want to show are Unity Explorer, Script Engine, and Configuration Manager. I will put all of the download links below, and they are all installed by placing them in your BepinX plugins folder. I'm not going to spend too much time here since I have a good bit to cover, but your plugin folder should look something like this afterward. First, Unity Explorer is an in-game tool, triggered by default by F7, that allows you to inspect all of the game objects currently loaded. I am not going to go over all of the options, but it is a very powerful tool. For our purposes, we are going to use the Mouse Inspect function, which is enabled by this button. After clicking, you can see that you can hover over in-game objects and have the option to inspect them. I'm going to click on this boat. After clicking, we see that we can look at the Unity children and components. Let's click on the ship component. Here, we get access to the methods, properties, and fields of that game object. Looking at the fields, we should be able to find something that affects speed. You can edit any of these fields and have the changes be reflected in real time. But let's change the fields around sail force. We take this value and say multiply it by 10. We should have an effect on how the boat is affected by sail force. If we close this window and begin sailing, we can indeed see that the wind is affecting the boat much more powerfully. Next, we move to IL Spy and look at the ship object. You can see the sail force factor property. If you search this file with Control F, you can also see how this property is being used. It looks like it's used in a vector along with the wind angle and the sail size, so this is probably what we want to modify. We can go back to our code and change that value when the ship spawns using a patch on the ship's awake method. However, this time we are going to add a BEP and X configuration also to make the multiplier configurable. Adding a config entry is easy and just takes this line. We are saying that our entry is a float, initializing it here with details in the plugins awake method. In order, this is the config section, the reference, the default value, and the name of the configuration. This configuration will automatically be created and set up next time you run the mod. In order to set up Script Engine, we need to add this destroy block. Script Engine is a tool that allows you to reload a new version of your library from a folder alongside the plugins folder called Scripts. This is extremely convenient because you don't have to relaunch the whole game. However, to enable this, we need to clean up the old plugin before loading the new one by unpatching on Plugin Destroy. Finally, we'll add the actual postfix patch to the ship awake function. This means it occurs after the normal awake function. We want to do this so our change is not overwritten by the default. In here, we simply multiply the value by our configured multiplier. After this, we'll build the mod and launch the game.
After launching, we can hit F1 and see our new config entry. This is using the configuration tool. We'll leave that alone for now. Look outside the window to close it. If we look at the console after entering the game world, we can see that the sail force factor is being modified by our script. This will happen once per boat on the server. Let's go back to the configuration window now. Open our configuration. Crank the multiplier up to something like 10. This value won't be applied to any currently spawned boats, but you can easily spawn a new boat offline by using the console commands. I'm a cheater, uh, probably god mode, just in case, so you don't die. And then finally, use the command spawn carve one. If we look at the console now, we can see that the sail force factor has been multiplied by 10. If you want to verify that in game, open the inspector, use mouse inspect, and click on the boat. You can access the ship object, check the fields, find the sail force factor, and verify that it has been multiplied. The last thing that I'd like to show is how to hot reload mods using Script Engine. To demonstrate, we're going to take the plugin, move it out of plugins, and into a new folder called Scripts. Then relaunch the game. After making this change, the mod will no longer be automatically loaded when you start the game, but will instead be managed by Script Engine. This means that each time you press F6, the mod will be reloaded. Tabbing to our console, we can see that our mod was loaded. Let's also spawn another boat just to have some comparison. Looking at the console, we can see that the mod still works and is using our stored configuration. Leaving the game running, let's make a couple changes to our code. Let's multiply this value by 2. Change the comment here just to make things a little more apparent. Build the mod and overwrite the current version. Then, you can hit F6 in game, open the console, and see that the mod has been reloaded again. If we finally spawn one more boat, we can see that the old version of the mod is no longer being used, and that it's now using the new version of our code. Anyway, I hope those tools and approaches are useful, I hope to have something on adding items to the game up next. Have a good one.